Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a little still life activity. So if you got some treats over the Easter holiday, go ahead and get them. You can pause the video. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie for this and a pencil, but you should probably use a pencil um, so that you'll have that, uh, so you can erase if you need to go back and change things a little bit. But we're gonna talk about drawing a still life and then we're gonna do another still life that's a little bit bigger after we do this one in the second video. So everybody start with a pencil. I, I am just gonna use a marker so that you can see a little better. Um, but usually I would normally use a pencil. So here we go. You can see here I have a, an egg with a little chick in it and some candy and I set them up so that I have some things that are in the front and some things that are in the back. So what you want to start with is whatever is in the front. So for me it's going to be this orange egg is in the front. So I'm going to start right here with the orange egg because that is what is the closest to me. And after I and I'm gonna make this little curved line here, divide it in half. Now, I'm gonna look and see where the next thing is. The next thing would be the purple egg with the chick. So I'm gonna look on the, on the orange egg where the purple egg starts. So if, I'm, if you look at my marker tip here, the purple egg is gonna start on the orange egg and stop on the orange egg. So it's gonna start about right here and it's gonna go up and then it's gonna kind of curve down to here. Now, to draw the chick inside, I'm just gonna look very carefully at the shape of this chick. Um, he doesn't really have a neck, so, but then he's kind of furry, so I'm gonna use little furry lines. So I'm gonna make his little, his head is a little circle. Make his little circle head and like that. Now, I know in my head that he has two wings, but since I can only see one, I'm only going to draw one. So there's his little wing. And for his beak, I can only see part of his beak and his little eyes are right there. So there's my little chick. Okay. Now, the other side of the purple egg, you can see, starts on the orange egg and stops on the orange egg. So I'm gonna start right here. Okay, and I'm gonna go up, around. This is called a foreshortened circle. You know that the egg opening is a circle, but since it's turned to the side and kind of far away, I actually make it an oval. So you wanna make an oval and then start on that oval and go down and touch the orange egg. Now, let's see if I can get this a little closer. Okay. Now for the next step is going to be the the little bag of Skittles. And for the Skittles, I'm just going to start with wherever it starts so I can see that it starts on the purple egg. So I'm going to start here on the purple egg. It's kind of like this at the bottom and it comes up a little wrinkle right there it comes up another wrinkle and there's the top and I'm gonna make it come over and you can see that it comes all the way over and down the side past the chick's wing to the purple egg now I'm gonna go back later and add the details on that but right now we'll do the bottle of bubbles so you can see that the bottle of bubbles starts on the bag of Skittles because it's behind. So we started with the one that's in front, then we draw what's behind that and behind that, and the last thing you draw is what's in the back of your still life. So when you set it up, you wanna have things in front and things in the back. So now I'm gonna start here. It's gonna go up and it curves. There's the lid with a foreshortened circle. It comes down. Okay, so I have a line here, a line here, a foreshortened circle, curve line here. 
Okay, and the next step would be to draw the side of the bottle that's gonna come down like that. Now, when I look at it, I can also see the water level inside. So this is very light on that side when it comes around. So you can make another foreshortened circle there where the bubble liquid is. And if I look really carefully, I can even see the little parts of the bubble wand. I think it has a couple little things in there. Like that. So there's the bubble wand inside. Now last week we learned about learning different ways to write letters. So on this, if you want to get a little more detailed now, you can look at the details in the writing, so if I look closely, I can see that it says Skittles here. So I can write out these bubble letters of Skittles, and I can go back and do all the details now if I want. Like there's a little outline around it that's white. And then there's a rainbow. The eye has a Skittle on it. And when I go back to color it, I'll also add some shading. So when I color the eggs, I would color part of the egg. Let's look at it here. Part of the egg would be dark and then part of the egg would be light. So I would make sure to leave the shiny. And there's also a shiny here. And when I make my bubble bottle, I would make sure to put the shiny right there. You can see the reflection of light. Okay, so the next, in the next video, we're going to draw something a little more detailed. So I'll see you there.